Would you send naked pictures of yourself to Facebook staff in order to stop yourself becoming a victim of revenge porn? Just putting it out there. Well, I mean, it does, <laughs> it does sound crazy. Literally you, putting it out there. Yeah, putting it out there. Please don't put it out there. Well, you want to put it out there. I, mean, <laughs> I don't want to put it out there. When you no. see the headline, you think, really, what? But this is Facebook's response to revenge porn, which yeah. has become a real issue, a real problem for people. So this is what exactly, as you say, they are suggesting here, that if you do take photographs of yourself in compromising situations, nude, uh, nude and sexual, um, then you send those in advance to Facebook, presumably as soon as they have done, they store store them for you. This is their promise. That's nice. And, yes, it's nice. <laughs> and, and therefore, if, if anyone tries to misuse those uh, photographs, disgruntled yeah. ex-lovers or just people being malicious, yeah. then Facebook will jump in and they will have an algorithm. We all know about algorithms now, don't we? Um, and they will block the publication of those photographs. So that is what they are proposing it sounds a bit perverted. It's like taking a naked picture of yourself and then send it to them. And how many people in the office, the Facebook office, oh. are going to have a look at them? Well, they have said... Naked. That all all of these photographs will have to be reviewed by staff. They looked at an option where they wouldn't. <laughs> Just the whole thing makes me furious, absolutely furious, because although I see somebody on the World Wide Web saying, oh, we've got a problem here, let's try and tackle it. At least they're recognising yeah. the problem. Fine. But the reality is, is that someone very, very close to me who's really high profile had their iCloud account hacked and pictures of them only in their underwear, mm. but still, private pictures went online. What they'd sent to their boyfriend, hadn't they? Yes. Yeah. This person had to pay thousands and thousands of pounds to get them taken down. Mm. iCloud don't uh, deny all responsibility. It's your fault for taking the pictures and for not having a three-step or two-step verification on the account, which they don't tell you about when you sign up for, by the way. Um, and nobody can prosecute these people because they're in, under the jurisdiction of other countries. So it's a very complicated and really heartbreaking thing to happen. Mm. And I know that this And there's person, nothing you can do there's about There's nothing. It. You feel completely let down by the people that you pay a lot of money towards to be yeah. a part of their corporation. Mm. And the fault of... Imagine pictures of you that you'd, you'd only sent to your partner that were intimate were on porn sites mm -hmm. and the type of people that are looking at them and the type of people comments that are underneath about what they're but, saying. But, I mean, isn't Facebook saying that they could interrupt that and they no, could stop that Facebook happening before it happens? what Facebook is saying is that we're still going to deny your responsibility. We're not going to look at the fact that we need a World Wide Web jurisdiction for everybody yes. and we need to start policing the internet properly. They do, yeah. And, actually, so yeah. what if they save the algorithm? I think Tell me that a hacker's not going to be able to turn around and change that algorithm and keep mm -hmm. pushing that photo out. Well, not only that, the thing that the, 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 the alarm bells that rang in my head is that if I was a hacker, I'd think, oh, awesome. So all the pictures in the whole world, I don't need yeah. to stop burrowing around over here. They're all in that drawer. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the equivalent of what hackers do, is they, they get into your house, they rifle through your drawers, they take your stuff and they sell yeah. it somewhere else. And but for very, some very reason, Did you that's know? not a, a crime that can be prosecuted. If you were looking in your photos and you put the word naked or skin, all of your photos would then be in a folder. All of like the fleshy really? photos, yeah, would come up in a sorted folder that your. I would have that many in my folder. But <laughs> even if it was just like revealing dresses or whatever, they all come up together. So all a hacker has to do, because they're algorithmed to be in the same folder, all a hacker has to do is go on the iCloud and search for naked, and then if he, if they see somebody that they, is in the public eye, yeah. great. Yeah. Do you I know what? I'm desperate to get this. this. I tell you. I'm desperate to get this out um, yeah. because I think at the bottom of this is these companies are saying to us, trust us, trust us with your private and intimate um, photographs and I don't trust them no. I really don't trust them and I don't think anyone should trust them because this is for commercial gain. These are highly profitable companies. And I just must throw this in. This was actually in the Times this morning. This is a guy called Sean Parker, who was the president of Facebook, one of the co-founders. And what he actually says is he has become a conscientious objector to social media because what he has created, he takes responsibility for this, is knowingly creating or exploiting a vulnerability in human psychology. This is and the man who co-created Facebook. the co-founder of Facebook. Wow. But you know what? How do you get that genie back on the bottom? Well, you don't. This is it. But these are multi 
billion, trillion pound companies and they have a moral obligation to start policing their internet and spending money on it. They, th we pay to be a part of these sites. Mm. We all advertise on these sites. You know, they get billions. Mm. They should be have a duty of care to all Absolutely. of the people. Yeah. I mean, look well, at tobacco companies. They were sued in retrospect because they put out a product which proved to be harmful to people's health. They were sued and we have changed our attitude to it. These companies also need to take responsibility for any harm that they cause. Which some Absolutely. would say that's exactly what Facebook are, are trying to do, is, is take some sort of responsibility and, and, and take some action. Facebook themselves have said, uh, with this new small pilot, we want to test an emergency option for people to provide a, a photo proactively to Facebook so it never gets shared in the first place. Uh, this program is completely voluntary. It's a protective yeah. measure yeah. that can help prevent a much worse scenario where an image is shared more wi we widely. We should be allowed to take pictures of ourselves, whatever you yeah. want to take pictures of. It's personal, it's private, and they shouldn't be going anywhere. And naked pictures of your kids get used on porn sites. You know, it's not just, oh, I took a nude selfie. No, mm. we should be allowed to take whatever pictures we want. They shouldn't They're go into this space us. on the internet for anyone to pick up. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And if you do get hacked... <laughs> if you do get hacked, you don't want them turning around and saying, well, it's your fault, you should have uploaded the photographs. And if you'd uploaded the photographs, it wouldn't have happened, you know, because yeah. they get out close.